Hi, my name is Gabe Wright, and I'm doing this for Greenfield Music Center. Um, if you have any interest in taking guitar lessons, I highly recommend them over there. They do a great job. Um, so, yeah, today I'm just going to give you a couple minutes on um, something, a tip about guitar. Uh, something I use a lot is called pretty much chord voicings. And um, a lot of you probably learned you know, your basic chords down here, but something I really like to do is take that and actually move it up and down the fret so that it gives you more um, pretty much implementation for when you're playing different parts or when you have two guitars, this is really useful. So I use it every, almost every day, so when I'm playing, um, I'm gonna play a lot here. So, um, so yeah, let's talk about that for a second. So I want you to think about a capo. Um, think of this nut here basically as just your default capo. And so when you play something like G, okay, it's capoed on zero fret. But I want you to think about that while moving up. So let's use that same chord shape, G, and let's move it up into a different key. So let's go all the way up to E. So now I'm going to play that same shape down here with my lower four strings, but I'm going to do it down in the E position. So it's going to look something like this. So think of this finger as your nut. Okay, so now I'm playing the G shape, but now I've moved it up into where I'm in the key of E. So what's really nice about doing things like this is I can do it with G, okay, so I'm up here in E, so I can take my D shape here, and then I can move it up to maybe something in the key of G, okay, and I can play my chord progressions along with this, and I'll show that there at the end, but um, think of your power chords. Your power chords are basically just default E and A shapes, so if you're here on the bottom E string here, okay, I got my F shape, so I'm just coming off of my E shape, remember? So I got my F shape, okay, I can move up. And I got my G shape, my A shape moving on. So if I'm doing my my A chord, okay, so if I go and I start my power chords on the A string, I can move that up, right? So we use this all the time. But you can do this with other chord shapes too. So let's do um, a D chord shape back up here in the G position. Okay, so um, for those of you that know intervals, um, this will be really useful. If you don't, I just highly recommend you go look that up. So I don't really want to explain it, but. For me, this is my one chord, okay, if I'm in the key of G, and so I'm going to use this as my four chord, so I'm going to bar right here on my pinky, okay, just like that G, on the key of D, okay, and then I'm going to bar right here, and I'm going to come up, and I'm going to use this for my sixth chord, okay, so if you're in the key of D, that sixth chord should be minor, okay, and then for my five chord, I'm just gonna use, go there to the second note of the scale. Okay, and I've already got my five up here on my index. So right there, you have a full progression of a song. You have a four, okay, a five, a six, okay? And back to your one. So you can use that with your G shape, with your A shapes, right? I can come up here with my A shape. Okay, or I can use it for my D shape. You can even go to the C shape, it's a little bit more, Harder on your hands, but you can. So there you go, chord phrasing.